Kalin and I'm from JC Click. I've been a photographer for more than 11 years. I started at a very young age, at the age of 16. I was nine years old though when I said I want to be a photographer and I never stopped quitting believing that I would become one. With any person in the, in the art industry, there's always a bit of self-training and a bit of formal training. So I was very fortunate enough knowing that this is what I wanted to do from a very young age that I could use a few years to go and apply myself at Vega National School of Photography. There I learned so much about technical sites, we learned how to print like the old days and also just to use film cameras and just really get our skills up and going. There is always place for training in photography. You cannot stop learning and there is so much you can learn from online, from courses, from, from one another even in the industry. We always train ourselves even after studying. There's never a place where you can stop learning. We have YouTube which has amazing tutorials, we learn from each other, we are well connected also with a bunch of photographers and there's always questions that come up and it just helps us to improve our skills each and every day. There are so many photographers that influence us with how our style is and how we inspire ourselves with new images every day. One of my most inspirational people is Sue Bryce, Sue Photography, as well as Three Nails Photography. They both have completely different styles, but from each and every one of those, we have taken something for JC Click and have transformed it into our own style. From Three Nails Photography, we got a bit of a, a vibe of being creative and thinking completely out of the box and having those warm tones edits. Obviously our style is still a little bit different and much different to Three Nails Photography, but they have inspired me in so many ways. Sue Bryce, on the other hand, is an amazing photographer and posing people. She is so interactive with her people and she gets the best out of them and that is what I've taken from her. Winning the wedding category at Africa Photo Award was absolutely phenomenal. We never saw it coming and we were hoping that we might just play somewhere, but winning came as a complete shock as everyone's work was absolutely amazing and as we stood there in front of everyone's work we were like wow you know everyone's doing their best and everyone's giving their best and um, we were just so happy that we were picked as the winning couple to, to win. For our clients it has given them a boost of confidence in booking us for their wedding day. There are so many photographers out there and everyone's work is absolutely incredible and everyone is doing their best. So just to stand a little bit more out in the wedding industry, it was amazing to win it and we thank all the judges for picking our photo to be the winning image. The story behind the winning image is one of my favorites to tell to my clients. It also, it just shows our clients that we will go to the extents of the earth to make sure that we get the images that we need for their day. The day started out absolutely perfect, there was not a cloud in sight, the wind was not hardly even moving. All of a sudden, just after the ceremony, there came a storm over the, um, over the mountains. Uh, the wedding was held in Clarence, which is full of mountains, beautiful mountains. But as the ceremony started, we saw these dark clouds coming in and we thought to ourselves, excitement is about to happen. So for us, when the weather starts turning, we know we're going to get something different and be challenged by the day. And absolutely, we were challenged, but we were so blessed. The clouds came over, the ceremony stopped, we said to the couple, listen, it's now or never, let's run, let's make a run for it. We got the bridesmaids and groomsmen all in the car, as you know, guys with beer in the hand, girls with champagne, and we went off. We found this perfect field, it was beautiful, but then the wind, it was just, you have never seen something like it before. They had umbrellas because it was raining and they wanted to keep themselves as dry as possible. But if you're with Jesse Click, you might always end up with a bit of a hairdo that looks different than what you came with. So the wind came up and we just, we couldn't, we could hardly hear each other, it was so intense. Later on we couldn't get much out of them, we just said, you know what, just go crazy, just go like kids, dance in the rain, make as if you're four years old. And as you see some of the expressions of the guys' faces, they really went all into character. But the wind just blew those umbrellas completely backwards and that is how the winning shot happened. But with the rest of the couple shoot, we literally had to get into the car, drive, shoot, and then the weather would come in. So we'd get back in the car and then we'll keep on going. The challenges that we face in shooting in our genre is that there are so many wedding photographers out there. Every day, new photographers pop up. And I mean, they're not amateurs. They are absolutely phenomenal. The work that they are doing is blowing away the industry. So for us, the challenge is to make sure that we keep to the top and keep up to the latest trends. 
Things from the past might not be as strange as things of now. So we are excited about that and we are excited about new photographers popping up every day because it keeps us on our toes. If everyone was just falling out, we would be just lying around probably doing nothing, but you know, they, they are all keeping us on our toes and we are excited about that because it's improving us as photographers. To take the perfect photograph, you've got to know your subject. Your subject will determine the perfect photograph. I don't think there is one perfect image in the world out there because each and every image speaks on a different level to each and every person. So when shooting in our, in our genre of the wedding industry, the perfect image for me is to really get the couple who they are as a couple or the person to get their personality going and flowing out of the image. The advice that I would give to other photographers shooting in the wedding industry or aspiring to shoot in the wedding industry is to never give up, to make sure you're keeping your clients happy and to always give them their best. To remember that they are a person and you're working with their personal life. To give them the little bit of extra warmth that you can and also just to make their day the best that it possibly can. Get involved in other groups, get involved with other photographers to learn from each other, to form a community. In that way you will learn so much you need to each other and we are not fighting against each other but we are working together to form a beautiful industry and when people talk about a wedding photographer that they would be envious of your work. <laughs> the advice that I would give to aspiring photographers shooting in the wedding industry is to form a community. Form a community where you can learn from each other and when things get tough to have people to support you in those tough times, to learn from each other's styles, develop your own style. Sometimes you can get so bound to what you see and you can't develop further from where you are. Another advice is to never stop learning. One thing we always say here at JC Click is, as soon as you think you've got it, you've lost it. So never stop learning, keep on dreaming and get those clients that you want.